What's going on guys? My name is Jake Duffner. I am a content creator since 2017. I make uh, horror short films and horror realistic vlog content. First of all, I'd like to say thank you so much to Famous Birthdays for having me here. It's, it's a cool thing to do and uh, I'm excited to get into the questions that everybody wants to know so badly. What is your favorite part of the social media process? And to me, my favorite part of the process is probably the the thinking that goes behind it. I like to like sit there and think about like the craziest storylines, like the craziest visuals that I could possibly think of. That's probably my favorite part in the whole like orchestrated thing. Obviously, other than the finished product, the finished product is probably anybody that makes content can probably agree with me on this one. But everybody's favorite part is the finished product. But other than that, my favorite part is probably the fact that you can just sit there and think for hours of the craziest stuff that you can think of. That's, to me, the fa my favorite part. What is my favorite video that I've posted? Sheesh. I don't know about this one. Uh, I have a lot of really good videos out there. I have, I could probably tell you my least favorite videos. <laughs> I don't know about my favorite. Uh, I have a few. I think uh, I did one called Twisties, Twisties Campground. Twisty's Murderous Campground, I forget the, the specific title. That might be my favorite video, just because it's like crazy clowns with chainsaws and stuff like that. I really like chainsaws. Something about chainsaws makes things just so much better. That's probably my favorite video that I could think of right now. My favorite project in general so far is the Calvin McGinley project. I really, really like that. There's also chainsaws in that one, so. Whenever there's chainsaws and blood, it's usually a good video. What advice would I give to my past self? Interesting question. Um, the advice I would give to my past self is to stop second guessing. I'm very, very spontaneous. I think anybody with a creative mind is the same way. Uh, you get a really good idea and you want to pounce on it like right away and then mid Halfway through doing that idea, you're like, oh, wait a minute, I wanna change this. And when I work with uh, actors or like filmers or anybody that's helped me with videos, I'll tell them exactly what I want. And then halfway through, I'm like, oh, completely flipping the script, like completely different. And I'm a little too spontaneous and that, and that hurts a lot. So I think that uh, I gotta stick to my ideas to the end without like stopping midway and, and changing everything. That's one thing. Uh, another thing is just, really do what you love you know like uh there's so many people that try to do what you know social media wants you to do whether it's like buy a lamborghini or this or that buy louis vuitton clothes and i personally i'm sure everybody goes through it where you're like yeah i want like cool nice clothes i've been through that phase and looking back on it it's probably the dumbest thing i've ever done in my life is spend all that money on these stupid things that's the only like real life advice I'd give to my past self and then the content creation advice I'd give my past self. So, yeah. What do I find most rewarding about what I do? The most rewarding part about what I do is just the fact that I am my own boss. The fact that I can, you know, I can film any day I want to film or go to Disneyland with my family if I want to. You know, I don't really have like a schedule, which is super, super awesome to have that freedom, especially when you get a little bit older. I know I'm only 23, I act like, <laughs> I act like I'm like 45. No, but seriously, the freedom is just, it's just the best part about doing what I do. Other than the fact that, you know, you get those, those people that come up to you in public and they're literally in tears crying, like telling you you saved their life. To me, that is the most overwhelming like anytime I'm having a bad day and I think about people like that, man, it's just, it's overwhelmingly joyful. Like I can't even put it into words. The fact that people, people think that way about my content or about me as a person, like the fact that you can just help people, people that you've never met before. Someone in Indonesia right now can be like, yo, you really helped me get through today. And to me, that's absurd. Think about that, like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of miles away and you're, you're making somebody's day. That's crazy. Very, very cool, very crazy. I like it. What are one of my accomplishments that I'm proudest of? Um, I don't really know, to be honest. I, I don't really like, 
I don't know. I've never, wow. I didn't write these questions, by the way. Uh, it's kind of, it's my first time seeing them. So my proudest accomplishment, I don't really know if I had any. I never thought about this. I, I think just being myself is my proudest. <laughs> to be honest, I know it sounds cliche, but like down to the core, like I'm just so happy that I have no one to impress but myself and God. That's that's my proudest. I, I really mean that, like to the pit of my stomach, down to the to the very deepest core of my heart. Like I do not care to impress not one single person besides me and God. And that and that's a life that everybody should. That's a that's a point where everybody should want to reach. I think that's my proudest accomplishment for sure. What are my favorite movies of all time? Good question. I really like horror movies. Obviously, and uh, I think to say my favorite is very hard to do, but just for conversation purposes, I want to go out there and say the origins of Texas Chainsaw. I, I just think that's such an awesome movie. Like when I think of a horror movie, I think of that movie because it's not just like some slasher going through the woods, killing people. Like there's a story behind it and it's so gruesome and it's so twisted in the head and it's just so sick. And there's chainsaws, like I said, man. Everything's just better with chainsaws. Something about chainsaws makes makes things a lot better. Do I have any hidden talents? A hidden talent of mine would be, hmm. I don't know. I don't really hide anything. Anything I can do, I, like people know. Uh, I think one of my hidden talents, and a lot of my OG people that watch me since day one probably seen it in my vlogs. I'm really good at like anything extreme sport related, like skateboarding, whether it's bicycles, motorcycles, doing flips, parkour, all that stuff. For some reason, I find like a very, very natural talent with that. Even though I've never hopped on anything before, I could probably hop on it and be really good at it when, when, when it's something like with motor skills. So I think that's maybe one of my hidden talents because people see me as like a nerd for the most part. and. Uh, yeah, I think I think that's probably my hidden talent. What is my biggest pet peeve? Um, my biggest pet peeve I think would have to be uh, when people complain. <laughs> that sounds terrible, but I, I don't like when people complain. I'm more of a problem solver type of thing. Tell me your problem. Tell me how we're gonna work through it and let's do it. You know, I don't like the the why me, why me's. You know what I mean? Like, why me, why me? Don't like that. Uh, I think that's my biggest pet peeve. If I could find out one thing about my future, what would it be? The one thing in my future I would want to know would be uh, who is gonna be there around me in the future. I don't have many people around me now. So it, it leads me to believe that there will not be many people around me in the future. And I know that it's going to be really good people that are around me. So I'm, I'm wondering who's going to stay, who's going to come. And yeah, I don't know. I think that's a good answer for that. Do I have any upcoming projects? I do, actually. Um, there's some stuff that I can't really go into detail about. Um, I'm in the middle of writing a script for a, a full featured movie and looking for uh, the proper property to film this movie on. I'm looking for like the, the locations and stuff like that. That's not gonna come out for about another year or two, so I'm not really gonna get into that. But uh, the project that I have, it's a YouTube series that I'm actually working on right now called Internment. And it's about the, the intrusive thoughts of a young man that is at his absolute lowest. Every day he's faced to choose a really tough decision between right and wrong. And uh, it's a lot of mind games, like thinking of really, really deep scenarios um, of like survival of the fittest type of uh, thing. So I just started that, it's called internment and uh, I'm on episode two right now. So uh, hopefully that's gonna get really deep, really fast. Want it to be super sick with a lot of blood. <laughs> Where do I get inspiration from for projects? Um, to be honest, I'm a very, very introverted person. I, I, 
don't really like a lot of things. I don't know. I, I feel it. And I mean that in a good way. I don't want to make it seem like a weirdo, but I, I've like right now I'm in my office by myself with no music. Like I just like to be alone, staring. Like I go to the to the woods a lot, and I go to like a lake, a nearby lake, and I just sit by myself with no music, no nothing, and I just think. I let my just mind just go, and wherever it takes me, it takes me. So that is probably where I get most of my video ideas and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, of course, when I'm with like my buddies and stuff, I'll bump music, and you know we'll all get amped up, but. But for talking about like for, for real, real serious stuff, yeah, I, I like to be alone and quiet just by myself. That's where I get my inspiration from. <laughs> if I could meet any three people, dead or alive, who would it be? Any three people, huh? Let's see, I would like to meet, well, first and foremost, I think everybody can agree on this one, is I want to meet Jesus, I do. <laughs> I mean, the, the legend, the God of this world, who would not want to meet that, you know? So I want to meet Jesus, and that's probably the only actual answer I have. But let me think of another two that I think would be really cool. Um, I guess Eminem would be one of them because Eminem is just cool, and I like Eminem a lot. I like when he wears his his hockey mask. I think he's cool for that. So Eminem would be number two, and number three would be Rob Zombie. Cause Rob Zombie's cool, and he has a cool beard, and he likes bloody things, and I like a lot of bloody things. I think me and Rob Zombie would be good friends. So Rob Zombie, if you see this, please, please message me. <laughs> I need a friend, come on man. Nah, I'm joking. Was there ever a time where I wanted to quit social media? Um, yeah, I think anybody that is on social media literally has this thought every other day because social media is a very very toxic place of people that overvalue their own opinions which uh hinders their growth as a person so like a social media is very you know excuse my language but it's a very dumb place a lot of dumb people are on social media the smart people the people that will change your lives forever uh, they're not on social media really. They're not on there saying, oh, yo, buy my course. They're more so people that you meet uh, like on the street somewhere, maybe a homeless guy. I have had conversations with homeless people that literally I think up to this day and have changed my mindset completely. So wise and so smart. So when I go on social media, it's like a very toxic place where I don't want to be. So. I to be honest, I don't even consider myself being on social media. I, I make my content and I post it for the people that uh, love my stuff. And I love to do that, don't get me wrong, it's my it's my passion. But when it comes to scrolling through feeds and stuff like that and messaging people, I don't do that. I, I don't, I stay as far away as possible. So yeah, if I, if I could quit social media to, right now, I would do it. I think I already quit, but I still post content. That makes sense. Probably doesn't make sense. Don't know, I'm just rambling at this point, so I don't know. I don't know, man. I just wanna do me and have fun and, and love life and spread the love, you know, and make the world a better place with the stuff I do. I don't care for yeah, all the other little questions. I don't know, I don't know. So, thank you again, everybody, for having me. Uh, thank you, Famous Birthdays, and I hope that uh, we can continue this conversation in the future. See you later.